I think Vlad can do very, very well against Pantheon, but we're gonna see. I think, like, and I always judge things based on, like, what level of play you're at as well. Like, I always say that, like, a higher level Pantheon is going to completely crush a Gangplank, but at lower levels, the Gangplank is gonna roll over the, the Pantheon. I'm at, like, a mid-level, so I really can't make judgment calls, and it sucks, because people will complain. Like, I've seen people at my level say, and I always, my go-to, like, in counter lanes is Pantheon counters Gangplank. I've honestly seen situations where people will first pick Pantheon, the other guy will pick Gangplank, and then Pantheon will end up complaining, like, oh, he completely counterpicked me, blah, 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 blah. And he'll just get rolled on and be like, there's nothing I can do, I need jungler ganks, whatever. When, like, in reality, like, completely honest, that is the number one, like, you lose that lane. You, like, there's other ones that are pretty clear-cut as well, like LeBlanc versus, like, uh, Scion or LeBlanc versus, you know, several other champions that can just push the wave down. Or, sorry. Uh, like Cassiopeia, like all kinds of... Well, not really Cass. I don't know. I think versus Scion is a pretty clear-cut one. But I don't know. The big pushers. Anyways, and uh, they complain, and it's so crazy. It just trips me right out. Okay. So it's kind of hard to say, like, who's going to win what or whatever. Okay, I don't know why I'm taking so long here. Okay. I've been told before not to whistle. Somebody that I know told me never to whistle. Um, and just to be clear, I didn't take my E because she's using traps. I took my E because I like to be aggressive in the early levels and deny. If I can deny three creeps. As a Soraka, that's pretty damn impressive, so that's what I go for. Did I take magic resist over armor? No, I didn't. She starts with 11? What? Oh shoot, I just got through playing StarCraft, so I'm now clicking on my champion to select her. That's not good. Corky, that's going to be a lot of damage, guys. A lot. When he gets that shield and auto attacks, that's that's definitely going to be over 100 damage. Like, well over 100 damage. So, he auto attacks me four times and I die. And by well over, I mean like 10 to 20. Take it! Take it! Did she get it? She got it. Yeah, these frames trip me out. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm supporting. I actually traded better there. It's kind of funny. She steps into my brush. So she got she's got the same things, eh? As far as wards go. See, now I like when the uh, range AD does this, is you push up a little bit and it gives you an earlier level 2. Okay, so there's a shield. And that's kind of what I want to do too, is like force these shields to come out. Great, good start. Really good start. That was sarcasm. That was an awful start. Gosh, when I rollerblade, I don't know what it is. Rollerblade and I wear these certain shorts and my butt gets really itchy. Okay, so 
Oh, that's fine. So I forced her to burn her pink there. And it looks like she hasn't warded anything else yet, so... I think we're okay. I'm just gonna max up my heal. And I'm literally, like, just doing nothing. Oh my gosh. Man, what the hell? So we do need to be a little bit cautious here, but um, if he comes this way, we'll see him, and then if he goes through the brush, we'll get the trap off him. Who is their jungler? Just to be clear. Warwick, yeah. So his, his ganks are pretty awful. And they're low enough that they can't really support him. Good hit. Oh, wow. I was lining it up. Now, usually I don't take a point in my star fall, but I'm doing it, or sorry, star call, but I'm doing it right now because um, I feel like I can still be a little bit more aggressive here. And I'm only going back because she's going back, but I've really got nothing to buy here. Oh, whoops, I silenced the minion. And that's just the frame rate straight up. I'm going to wait for the heal for a little bit of an engagement. Warwick gank mid. There we go. At least we got something out of it. Did he get a... I don't know if he got the refresh on the red. Okay, so Warwick's dead. We can just chill out. My wards don't need to go down. Didn't look like she was going to get it. Hmm. That was actually a really good exchange. Okay, so now I have to be worried. Now I've got to be a little bit worried. She's still got two wards, though. I really don't want to place this. So you, the way you tell if the river's warded is you, uh, or if this brush is warded, is you go through here. But Oh, I still got the assist. Awesome. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to be looking across the map for kills here. So we're 3 to 2, which is good. Warwick has a kill, which is fine. Pantheon's got a kill against Vlad, and the CS is pretty well balanced, so that's okay. And then Pantheon, for some reason, is in mid lane, so that's actually really good. And now, I think, I just need to see what kind of wards she has. So she only has green wards, and I just want to check to make sure here. Okay, so she did buy a third green ward, and that's an important thing to note there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the brush, 
Um, I need to see if Warwick's coming down. Uh, so I need to place a ward, and I need to, uh, I want to place that pink ward there, because I don't want to waste a green ward there, and I want to kill a ward that she places. So I'm just predicting that she'll, she will ward somewhere there. And there's my ult. Which actually ended up saving the day. Good. Well, netting a kill anyways. He played that really, really bad, so he ended up, um getting killed so yes so this is the time here we go she's gonna go out and ward now and now I'm gonna stop her from warding this tri brush because that's what she wants so I'm gonna stop her from warding this and force her to ward outside so I'm gonna stay here and make sure she can't ward the tri brush she wants to ward it really badly and you keep that in mind because Soraka trades with the Janna a lot better now, look, I've baited them to come this way, which is good. Okay, so she's still, um, let me check her ward number. Yeah, she, okay, so she, she did drop a ward somewhere. Shoot. Okay, there it is. So she did get one in the try, okay. That's what I was fighting her away from, and you guys know that. But, uh, yeah. So good to know. Actually, that's a funny thing to note, is if Caitlyn Trap goes off, and you get vision of that character, and they, they're standing where they can see a ward, you get vision of the ward. That's really cool. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to give her mana. Damn. So there's no point in me standing in the brush anymore. So I did predict incorrectly, so that pink ward did not pay off. This Hecarim guy is not doing so hot. So that was a pretty good chunk of damage. That was another pretty good chunk. And what I've do been doing on support lately, a lot actually, is getting um, triple gold gem. So I need to get rid of some for awards. I can't just let her keep going around doing that. So what I need to see what she's got now. Greens again. Four of them. Four green wards. Okay. So that's what I need to note. I see Warwick. No need to ward River yet. Warwick is here. And I don't have my ult to save this guy. So he's gonna die again.
is a really good exchange for us. Oh, he's not gonna die. Cool. I'm gonna heal myself because she's healing with uh, the vamp and the Dorans. Where's a rocket? Gotta bait out those rockets. Okay, I still see Warwick. I don't have a threat. I don't. I'm not feeling too strong of a threat from a gank. So, and she's dropped two words already. She has dropped two words. Son of a gun. They were a lot closer than that. Yeah, I was actually going to go up there and drop a ward. And I'll let this guy jump on me. Shit. And I lagged out. What an awful time to lag out. I stopped him from using his thing. That's fine. Okay, so I'll start this up. Good snag, really good snag. That's good. Yeah, that was great, actually. So she's been dropping wards like madness. So I'm gonna make sure, actually, because I know she likes warding this try. So I'm gonna make sure that if she wants to ward that again, she's gonna have to uh, wait it out. I'm just going to go full-blown boots right now. That's cute. 